welcome back. Our next character was at one point a star. He was one of the members of Mickey's gang, but sadly, as time would move on, he would get smaller parts, and a few of them at that, until eventually, he was wiped out from the face of the earth. This is Horace Horsecollar. From what I said before, it really does sound like a sad tale of a failed actor. Unfortunately, that's the case with Horace. He was created by Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks in 1929 for the short, The Plowboy, as a plow horse. Watch his hooves here transform into hands. Now that's early cartoons for ya. Anyways, after that cartoon, he would make many more appearances until 1932, where after that year, he starts to appear less and less. Here's an example of what I mean. Between 1930 and 1932, Horace would appear in around four or five cartoons a year. But in 1933 and after, he would appear in about two cartoons a year. And there are some years during that time where he wouldn't even appear at all. He did appear in some famous cartoons, like The Band Concert, Mickey's Review, Orphan's Benefits, and more up till 1942 with Symphony Hour, which is the last classic cartoon that Horace have ever appeared in. Ever since then, there hasn't been any trace of Horace anywhere, with the exception of brief cameos in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Mickey's Christmas Carol, and his role as Mickey's tutor in The Prince of the Pauper, Horace had never appeared in anything for more than half a century. During the 90s, when Disney was big with its Disney Afternoon TV block, there was an idea brought up for a show that would star Horace. It was called Maximum Horsepower. The story is set in 1939, when Horace wasn't really getting a lot of work, or even getting a big role. When he heard about Mickey starring in a segment of Fantasia, he decided to ask Walt Disney if he could star in one segment of Fantasia as well. Suddenly, when Horace was walking to Walt's office, he was abducted by aliens and was sent halfway across the galaxy because they think that Horace is their hero even though Horse Collar would like to go back to Earth with his acting job. The show would have answered the reason why Horace was absent for a long period of time. But sadly, the idea just... disappeared. By the year 2000, things would pick up for Horace. He would appear several times in the Mickey Mouse works and in the House of Mouse as the technician. His job is to play the animated shorts when ready. Today, in very rare occasions that he would talk, he would be voiced by Bill Farmer, the same voice of Goofy and Pluto. He would also appear in some Kingdom Hearts games, star in his own stories in some comics, and appear in some meet and greet and in special parades with Clarabelle Cow at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World. Horror seems to be appearing more often than before. Even if non-Disney fanatics might recognize him, we can see that he's doing something, and in Epic Mickey, it's no exception. In the game, Horace is the detective at Mean Street. But is he a good one? I wouldn't go that far. He hasn't had a client in years. So to help him out, you have to go solve some quests like solve the case of who stole this thing or whatever in exchange for a power spark. But here's the irritating thing about Horace. Once you got what Horace wanted, you need to go back to give it to him. But when you do, you don't start by giving the object to him. He has to give you even more quests for you to do, and by the third time you talk to him, THEN you give him the thing which he will exchange for a power spark. Listen, I have the mask you wanted. I don't care about some big case involving a hatchet. Just take the mask and give me my freaking power spark!